Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're gonna do your reading here in a moment, your weekly reading. Just a couple things before we start. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, right now, um, personal readings are on hold. I am booked for about a week and a half out. I don't wanna book anymore until uh, next week. So I will open them up again next week. So also there are details below how to win a free personal reading. And with that, uh, Aquarius, let's get started here with your reading. We're gonna pull the main energies first. Okay, I'm gonna use these main energies both in money, career, and love. We will start with money, career, then we'll move on to love. And uh, I will spend more time on the love portion of the reading. So let's get started here. Okay, your first card here is the fork in the road. We have number 13, which adds to four. Okay, these numbers may be important to you or you may see these synchronicities during this week. Okay, 47, which is 11. This is go the distance. And then we also have here building blocks, number 28, which is 10, okay? And then bottom of the deck, we have, very nice, we have Treasure Island, number nine, okay. I feel like Aquarius, there is something here that you, um, when it comes to money and career, I feel like there could be something that you wanna move forward with, okay? I see with this fork in the road, it definitely feels like an energy of moving forward with something that you see that could be stable for you for the long term. Some sort of change, I feel. You have uh, go the distance here. So you may be looking at the possibilities. You may be trying to find some answers about it. Go the distance. It feels like this could be some sort of goal or idea that you have. Um, I feel like with this go, go the distance here, it's telling you that there is success ahead, but it also feels like something new here because with the building blocks, I feel like this is kind of like a new foundation, something new that you're going to build. And I feel like this is like the decision, maybe taking the risk to do this. And now what's beautiful here, okay, I almost feel like this is what you don't see coming here is Treasure Island, okay? So there's a turtle here with a beautiful, uh, treasure chest and some uh, gold in that treasure chest. So this could be, uh, I feel here, you may be closing out a cycle and been getting a new cycle here, or like I said, something new. I also see nines as destiny. So this could be something that you're destined to do in your life. And I feel like too, it's also talking about consistency, right? With the turtle, slow and steady wins the race type of energy. So let's uh, clarify. I'm just gonna pull one card for each of these to see if we can get some more details about what this is. So thank you spirit and angels for your guidance. Please uh, show Aquarius what they need to know. Please show Aquarius what they need to know. Yeah, the building blocks too, I'm kind of getting that one step of a, a time energy. Tell me more about, okay, I was gonna say the fork in the road. So we have here emergence, it says coming into the light. So this can talk about an awakening, maybe you're going through an awakening at this time, doing um, some soul work. Uh, this could also talk about maybe something that you are thinking about doing where you're going to be in the spotlight, that star energy. Definitely get a very uh, transformational energy. Feels like a new path. And so this is something that's emerging. This is something that maybe, you know, is the ideas, the clarity, Okay, I feel like to kind of go in within here and finding those answers. The fork in the road can also be about you being true to yourself. Okay, finding your way. Let's see why the go the distance card is here. Tell me more about go the distance. 
Okay, so we have um, the phoenix. This is rising from the ashes. So this could talk about um, your ambition. Okay, something here that you're feeling ambitious about. This can talk about a new career. Uh, again, spotlight energy. So some of you, this could be something where, you know, maybe some of you are going to become content creators or, you know, some of you are going to do something where you're in the public eye. Okay, this could be some sort of new career goal that you have and something that you're passionate with because it says uh, fire within. So this could be something that you're just really passionate about and you feel inspired to do. So really nice energy. And it's also telling you here with the um, go the distance, there's success ahead. Okay, there's success ahead. Beautiful. Tell me more about building blocks. Tell me more about building blocks. I feel like some of you um, may be actually even thinking about doing a relocation, okay, whether it's job or home. Um, I almost feel like, too, maybe living a simpler life. I don't know why I'm hearing that. So some of you may be deciding to make um, a change, okay, where you, you live more simply than maybe you did in the past. Okay, you also have here strike now, time sensitive opportunity. Okay, so they're telling you Aquarius, now is the time for you to make this move if this is something you've been thinking about. If this is not something like, right, that, you know, has come to light, right, where you've gotten the clarity here, this can talk about you making plans, taking that step. I talked about step by step here. Um, and this can also talk about uh, reach okay so taking the steps to maybe expand reach out okay maybe there's people that you need to reach out to in making this change but there's something here about taking action now is the time okay you also have here sovereign and this is governing your own life okay you are in charge of your life this is about rising to the top. This could also be about you taking on some sort of leadership role. Some of you, it could even be about starting your own business, okay? Having more freedom and living a different lifestyle. Like I said, there's something here about, I feel I'm hearing like living a more simpler lifestyle. Okay? Also, you know, kind of feeling that energy Aquarius about you taking that risk that leap of faith here towards something new so we're going to get into your love reading for purposes of love I'm going to put these cards under here so I can see these cards for love <clears throat> all right so again it does feel like you know this may be a decision there may be a decision here in love those building blocks this could talk about you and rebuilding self here you know working towards some sort of relationship here but let's see what the love energy is here for Aquarius please show Aquarius what they need to know all right please show Aquarius what they need to know in love I'm going to pull your cards here first Hmm, Aquarius. I see somebody here. I see, I have to say, I see a new love. Look at this. We have Page of Cups. We have new excitement. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you are having a baby or you know someone who's having a baby, but that's just a little side note there. Let's go through them. So we have uh, the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So I feel like there is a, a love opportunity coming towards you here. And I feel like this is, this could happen actually quite quickly here. It could be some communication you get from someone. You also have uh, the two of swords. And you also have the strength card. Now, there's something here about making a difficult decision. Having the strength to make a difficult decision. Um... 
Something here about not questioning things. Now, this could be someone you're dealing with. I'm going to clarify that two of swords. We're going to go back to that. We also have here a four of wands, and we have um, a five of swords, all right? Now, I'm getting on energy here, too. This can talk about a couple different things. This could be about getting what you want in love, a relationship here. But this could also be somebody here, either you're in a relationship with someone or this is someone you see yourself with and this is someone who is kind of out for themselves. Maybe somebody not making a decision here around a relationship which is putting you at a fork in the road. Wondering if you know this is a relationship that's going to pan out is what I'm seeing. I feel like... Some of you, there could be a new love here. Okay, it could be the same person. We'll see when we clarify. But we have the Knight of Wands and the Lovers. We got Gemini energy. And we also have here um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this could be a decision in love, Aquarius. You know, this could be someone where you have a very strong connection with this person and you're holding on to this connection but you're not seeing um, the movement in the direction where you want things to go with this person. But I'm also seeing this is potentially here a new love, okay? A decision, right? Maybe um, a decision between someone you already feel a connection with and also a new love. I feel like more so there's a new love coming into your life, uh, Aquarius. Some of you may be still thinking about someone here you have a connection with. Or, you know, this person can be around you. But let's clarify because, you know, it's going to be different. Everybody's in a different place in their love life. So tell me more about this Three of Wands energy. Okay, too many cards there. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Okay, there you are, Aquarius. Yeah, competition because we got the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. There's some sort of shift, some sort of change happening in your love life. You might start to see, and you know, I talked about that star energy. You are the star, Aquarius. But I feel like there could be people around you where you start getting more attention, more opportunities open up for you. That's where I see with the seven of wands. There's, there's definitely some sort of shift here happening in your love life. Now, let's clarify this to a sword. That definitely can be your energy, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But tell me more about the two of swords. Okay, we got the six of cups, and we also will have the moon card. Now, yeah, this feels like you could be thinking about somebody here uh, from the past, somebody that you know. Page of Swords here could be someone you could be feeling like this person is being distant, okay? Could be feeling like they're being distant emotionally. Maybe this is someone who has not made um, any decisions in here with the Strength card, okay? Or you're feeling like this person is not giving you any clarity or taking any action, okay? Um, because with this strength card, this is, talks about unquestioned confidence. So you're not feeling confident, I feel, about somebody that you have a strong connection with. This Knight of Wands can tell me, too, that this is someone who's been inconsistent in your life on and off type of energy. So let's clarify this Five of Swords. So as I said, some of you may be, you know, still feeling a little bit attached emotionally to somebody here from the past that you think about but they, they just give you kind of you know doubts uncertainty you don't feel confident i feel about this situation tell me more about the five of swords okay we have the six of pentacles yeah and we have the tower Yeah, something wasn't working in this connection and what wasn't working is this is someone i feel that um, didn't give, okay? They weren't, they weren't a giving energy. It was an unstable energy, the tower, okay? You may be rebuilding, okay? Um, this can talk about, right, rebuilding a foundation. So this could be someone you don't have a very strong foundation. And like I said, maybe it's time now that you get what you want, Aquarius. 
Some of you could be dealing with a twin flame. You've got the five of swords here as well. There could have been some sort of conflict or argument between you and someone, and it's not a stable foundation. And that's what's giving you uncertainty and doubt. Um, and some of you now, you're right, you're at that crossroads. Maybe you're looking here, thinking about other possibilities, what could happen. Let's talk about the um, Knight of Wands here. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, Nine of Pentacles, look at that. And the Knight of Wands again, and the Chariot. I feel like, um, I feel like Aquarius, this feels like, this is someone you're very attracted to, and I feel like they're attracted to you. You have the Chariot here, Cancerian energy. It feels like you're tired of waiting for this person. You know, maybe tired of waiting for things to change or just feeling like things aren't going in your favor. And I feel like this is about you making a decision, right? Maybe to take that risk, that leap of faith and look at other opportunities. And then look, as I said here, you have um, new excitement, okay? Page, page of cups here. So I feel like Aquarius, what they're telling you is that you may be in a place in your life, in your love life, and you want something more new and exciting, I'm feeling, because I feel like there's a situation you've been dealing with that just hasn't been very stable, hasn't been consistent, and you're always questioning this connection with this person. I do feel for some of you this is a twin flame, and I feel like you're kind of at that crossroads, you know, of starting over. Some of you may be starting over, but what I, I have to say is that there's an energy of abundance, okay? And no place at home. And you also have here, look at that, milk and honey. I feel like there's happiness ahead. I feel like Aquarius, they're telling you to explore the possibilities here of a new situation. Because it feels like there's not um, a, a lot of stability, okay? And there's a lot of uncertainty here with someone. So let's see what the love oracles have to say. Please share with Aquarius what they need to know. Yeah, look at that. Storm warning. Okay, this talks about drama, upheaval, obstacles. This is also the tower energy wrecking ball. Okay, maybe this is someone you would just have that kind of, you know, up and down uh, roller coaster energy with. You have legal matters, okay? I'm just gonna say, some of you, this could be someone that you're thinking about divorcing. I'm just saying, I know I would never you know, tell you to do that, but this can also talk about judgment energy, okay? Someone here from the past. It could be someone you were married to, or someone you divorced or separated. And you have music, okay? This is the charmer, this is the snake energy. Or this person, maybe they're a musician, or some uh, music is somehow a factor here in your connection, but this is someone I feel who has um, been that snake, that charmer. Okay, but this also talks about your peace and your harmony, and that's the decision I feel like you're trying to make here, Aquarius. So let's see um, what other messages you have here for Aquarius. Let's close it out here. What else can you share with Aquarius? Okay. Wow. Look at that. You got the moon card here again. 21, which is three. It says, pay attention to your intuition. All this, I'm sorry, at this time and move ahead confidently. Yeah. So there's the uncertainty here, the doubt. Okay. Or you may be feeling a certain way. You, you know, your feelings. You may be feeling something deeply here about this. And so I feel like they're telling you it's time to take off, right? Here's that plane taking off on a jet plane, <laughs> okay? Number 26, which is eight. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. I feel like they're telling you here, Aquarius, uh, taking that risk, that leap of faith, I feel towards some, some sort of new situation in your, in your life, um, I feel like they're telling you it could be a lot more fulfilling because they want you to have your happiness. They want you to have your abundance here. So Aquarius, um, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.